there is nothing as lovely as having the one who is truly yours. When God is involved in a matter, there is no delay or struggles. God is interested in us finding happiness. It is His desire that we are made complete in every area and aspect of our lives. Are you trusting God to be married someday? Are you waiting on God for the right partner and connection to the one who is truly your own? Then be rest assured that it is happening now and it will not take time anymore. Your marriage is closer than ever and the one that is yours is coming your way. We will discuss five signs that your marriage is close and that you will meet the one soon. The burden of responsibility comes stronger. One of the signs that your marriage is closer than you think and there would be a meeting between you and your future spouse is that the burden of responsibility comes stronger on you. One of the greatest components of marriage is responsibility. If you are not responsible now, it would be difficult for you to be in marriage. When it's time for you to get married, one of the signs God will show you as confirmation is that you become more responsible. Marriage is all about responsibility. It's all about taking roles and bold decisions that you can stand by. You've probably been living with your parents and have not been taking responsibility for a lot of things. You would begin to find it uncomfortable for your parents to provide for everything for the house. You would be under pressure from within yourself to go out and make ends meet. When Ruth came to the land of Israel with her mother-in-law, she was not comfortable staying at home and let people come to visit them. She rose and told her mother-in-law, Naomi, that she wants to go out and work and Naomi simply prayed for her that God should guide her footstep. It was God that was actively pushing Ruth out and into the field. He was making her more responsible for the journey that she was about to step into. Had this burden not come on Ruth, she would have stayed at home with Naomi and people would have still brought provisions for them since she was even a stranger in the land. But God wanted to use her and prepared a husband for her. And for them to meet, she must be made responsible. If God wants to move you closer to your marital destiny, He lays upon you the burden of responsibility. You become uncomfortable in your abode. One of the rules that God attached to marriage is that a man and woman leaves their father's house and become as one flesh. As a man, when God is bringing you closer to marriage, He makes you uncomfortable in your father's or guardian's home. You would be uneasy until you have gotten your own place of residence. No matter how wealthy your parents are, when you are with God, He would make you see the need to move out of this comfort zone and begin to make plans for the future. You cannot stay in your father's or guardian's home and bring your wife in. You would be uncomfortable. As a woman, you would also lose peace staying at home and would be eagerly looking forward to the person coming to take you as a wife. The burden to get a place becomes stronger on the man and you are forced to get your own place. For a lady, the burden to move out also becomes stronger as she begins to take responsibilities for many things and also make critical decisions. You cannot always stay in your parents' house, in their comfort and make headway in life. You would have to step out into the real world and find your own path. We never knew our true greatness and what is within us when we remain in our comfort zones. Had David not gone to battleground to check on his brothers, he would never have been the slayer of Goliath. When you are closer to getting married and meeting the right one, the urgency to move out of your comfort zone comes stronger. You become so focused on the future and what it holds. Another sign that you are closer than ever at being married is that you become conscious and concerned about the future. You do not do things again for just the pleasure and comfort of now, but also for the future. You become deliberate about future plans. This is a sign that you are close to meeting your spouse and are getting closer to getting married because in marriage, you are not so worried or concerned about yourself again, but about your family, their growth and their fulfillment. The future mindset and focus weights stronger on you. You become weary of present pleasure and think more of the gain in the future. 
you become easy to let go present gratifications for future benefits. It's the marriage stage that is manifesting in your life. Previously, you were not concerned about others or what they would gain in the future, but because you are close to getting married, it becomes part of what drives you, the urgency and need to have a fulfilling life for your spouse and your children. You try more to take care of whatever would make the home happy and comfortable for them. You are engrossed in making plans towards where to live and settle with your family, the kind of home you want, how many kids you want and other such numerous plans. This is marriage beckoning on you. You are no longer pleased or satisfied with temporal benefits and pleasure, but want greater achievements and fulfillments that last. You look beyond beauty and common things. As men, it is in them to desire a beautiful lady that is tall, fair and intelligent, and ladies want a tall and handsome man that is also financially stable, but when you're mature and close to getting married, you see things beyond these things. As a guy, you become more concerned with the content and not the container. You begin to value what a lady carries than what she displays on the outside. You become more concerned with the good that can come out of a lady and not the facial beauty she displays. You want to see what she can do, how good she is, how she can fit into your life. Even when others say she's not beautiful enough, with the value and potential she possesses, you see the beauty in her and not her facial makeup. As a lady, when you are getting close to married, you begin to value a man with vision and potential and not the size of his bank account, how tall and handsome he is. No lady wants a handsome man that cannot provide for his home. The look now goes beyond physical to the capacity he has to drive and make things happen. This is a sign that you are close to getting married. You are now seeing things how they ought to be and are not fantasizing. You have interest for value over appearance. You appreciate great plans over great looks. When you are seeing things from this perspective, have it in mind that you are closer than ever to getting married and the right one for you is close. Because if you do not have this view, you might miss the person God has prepared for you. In God, we recognize value and not appearance. If it was appearance, David would not have been made king when he had handsome and tall brothers. Jesus would not have come from the lineage of Rahab and Ruth. You begin to value relationships. Before now, you may have been taking relationships casually, but when you are at the point of getting married, you treat relationships with regards. You no longer see relationships as casual. You see value in people and want to associate with people that would also bring values in you. You become less driven by what you can get to what you can add to sustain the relationship and how everyone can be better off. This is a sign that you are closer to getting married and about to meet the one God has for you. Believe it that you would be married and settle with someone that loves you and someone that is God's will. It's not a one-day affair. It's a process that you would pass through. Think through if any of the points is currently experienced in your life. If it is, then you are closer to getting married with the right person.